Good morning, my dedicated viewers. Welcome if this is your first time, and glad to have you back if you've been away for a while. I'm Mark, and this is Miyochi, your gateway to flexibility, range of movement, injury prevention for an active and healthy lifestyle. Today's routine is the sun routine. So let's begin. Feel the stretch, not the pain. What we're going to do is we're going to interlace our fingers like this, and then push your hands out like that, and you'll stretch your fingers right there. Your fingers are stretching, and then you're going to bring it over your head like this, an so overhead finger stretch. And I, like I said earlier, feel the stretch, not the pain. If this is as far as you can go, that's as far as you can go. You'll get better and more flexible as you do these routines. And what you're doing is you're stretching your fingers, your uh, arms, the back of your shoulders, the, and your back. This is a great stretch and also your abdomen down here. This is a great upper body stretch. All right, bring it down and one more time. Fingers in, stretch them out and go over your head like this. And you're probably wondering, where's the beach? There is no beach because they have closed down the beach due to coronavirus. So that's why I am not doing this in the beach at sunrise. But believe it or not, the sun is rising right now, but we are in the Florida swamp. Uh, and that's where we are today. So I had to make do with a different location because the beaches were closed. Uh, and I couldn't get on there. I can't even go surfing. All right, so put your fingers in again like this, stretch them out, and then over your head. And I have these good friends who live in a place on the island here that backs up to what we call the Greenway. And the Greenway is essentially a swamp in the middle of the island. So that's where we are today. And at the end of this, I'm going to do a little swamp tour for you. Uh, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. But uh, this is a beautiful place. One of my favorite places to be in the swamp. And this is their backyard. It's literally a jungle back here. All right. So the next one is going to be the wrist curl. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, Stretch our wrist and our forearm. So you're going to put your arm out as far as you can, curl this hand like that, cup it, and now with this hand, pull your wrist down. Pull your wrist down like this. And you'll feel it inside this forearm, up on the upper forearm, and inside your wrist. And then just give it a stretch. Remember to breathe in nice and evenly and deep and exhale as well. And then relax. Let's do the other hand. Cup it in and bring it down like this. I just love it back here in this, uh, I call it the jungle. And uh, it is truly a swamp back here. You will find out when I go and uh, give you the tour later on after this video is over. I just love all the birds chirping, there's frogs and woodpeckers, things scurrying down in the, in the bottom. Okay, relax a little bit, go back up, and with your hand, pull it down and stretch, and you'll feel it inside your forearm here, and you're also stretching your wrist. Push this arm out as far as you can, so you get some stretching back here as well. I don't know how long it's going to be before I can get back on the beach, but I'm going to have to find some new locations temporarily until we uh, pass this coronavirus, which is affecting everybody in the world, and I'm sure it's affecting you as well. So I hope you enjoy my exercises, and maybe they give you some relief if you're cooped up in your house and you enjoy the view that I've got here in the jungle, a little bit of nature for you. And maybe this will make your day a little better. And that's kind of the key, is I'm hoping I'm making everybody's day a little better if you're cooped up inside your house. Because guess what? I'm pretty much cooped up in my house, too. OK. The next one, that was good. I could feel it in my shoulders. The next one's the shoulder roll. And what we're going to do is we're going to stand straight up like this and then point your shoulders back and stand at attention. And you're going to feel it stretching all in your upper body right here. 
in your upper chest. That feels good. And now you're going to roll your shoulders forward. Keep standing straight up. Don't bend over. And then roll your shoulders forward like this. And now you're stretching the upper back, your upper back. And now roll them back again. This is great range of movement for your shoulders. Oh, that feels good. I can just feel it stretching up there in the chest. And forward. It's a bit noisy out here, as you can tell with all the birds and the animals making their great sounds. I literally feel like I'm in a jungle here. It's just wonderful. One of my favorite places on the island. All right, we're going to do this again. Stretching back. Okay, and forward. I can hear the waves in the background a little bit too. I don't know if it'll catch on the microphone, but I can hear them crashing in the background a little bit. We're probably about a mile from the ocean. Okay, and relax. All right, the next one is the neck to sky stretch, or maybe I'll say neck to leave stretch, neck to tree stretch. And we're gonna stretch our muscles in our neck here and our uh, neck vertebrae. So again, feel the stretch, not the pain. Do not feel any pain whatsoever. And essentially, we're just going to look up to the, the trees or look up to the sky and shut your mouth and you'll feel it stretching all in your necks, in your neck. Breathe in nice and even and breathe out nice and even. Okay, bring it down. Relax a little bit. We're going to do it one more time. Up to the trees, look up to the trees. Okay, bring it down, relax. One more time, look up to the trees. Just to let you know, this tree that I'm underneath is a grapefruit tree. And relax. This whole tree right here is a grapefruit tree. And uh, my good friends, they let me pick the grapefruits uh, when they're ripe every year. I just picked the last few about probably three or four weeks ago. So I have grapefruits. Uh, unlimited grapefruits in the winter, and I've got orange trees in my backyard, and, and basically a, a type of tangerine. Uh, the fruit down here just grows like crazy. But in this jungle, they can plant anything, and it just grows. It's crazy how this stuff grows in this jungle. This is all peat, and uh, probably thousands of years of um, leaves that have fallen, and just created some of the most fertile soil you'll ever believe right here. Uh, and they call it like a peat, and it's just thick soil that's from these leaves that have been dropping probably for thousands of years. Uh, it is just, it's an amazing little ecosystem. Okay, so now we're time, ready for the spine twist. And what we're going to do is again stand shoulder, shoulder apart. This is going to twist your spine and your vertebrae. So feel the stretch, not the pain. Remember, don't go any further if you feel pain. What we're going to do is we're just going to twist this way like this. And you're twisting your spine and just go to where it feels comfortable. It's as far as you can go, that's fine. And have your head, your face uh, looking forward like this. And you're gonna feel it, your spine twisting, and you're also gonna feel a little tension in your knees, which is good. Uh, that's uh, flexing your ligaments and tendons in your knees as well. Just feel the stretch though, not the pain. Breathe in, nice and relaxed and then breathe out nice and relaxed. Okay, now forward. We're going to go the other way like this. And 
Okay. Forward. And one more time, over to this way. Okay. And forward. And one more time this way. We're going to do this again. I'm really feeling this in my spine. This is really good flexing and range of movement for your vertebrae and your spine. And one more time, we're going to go the other way and stretch around. If you notice these right here, I like to call these elephant ears because they look like elephant ears. I don't know what the name of them are. I remember those plants in Hawaii when I was a kid and they were gigantic. And I used to play inside all this little elephant ear area. I remember that. Those are good times. The elephant ears in their backyard get really, really large. Okay, and we'll let it down. I think a spider just went on me. They get bigger than that. Some of those over in there are like this big. All right, so now it is time to transition to the floor. And you know what that means. Food of the week. Food of the week. And our food of the week is kiwis. Kiwis are high in vitamins and minerals, C, K, E, folate, and potassium. Kiwis have more vitamin C than oranges. A study has shown that eating kiwis lowers respiratory problems, such as asthma, wheezing, and shortness of breath. And another study found that kiwis help support your immune function, which may reduce the chances of catching the cold or flu. And finally, kiwis help you sleep. They are high in antioxidants, prevent strokes and heart attacks, manage blood pressure, reduce blood clotting, and are high in fiber. Kiwis, great food of the week. My wife eats one for, eats one for breakfast every single morning. She loves them and I like them too, but she is a big kiwi fan. So get you some kiwis today, all right? All right, our first one is the toe foot stretch. And what we're gonna do is we're going to stretch our feet, our toes and the bottom of our feet. So what we're gonna do, trying to get a good spot here, we're just going to get on our toes like this and bend your feet down like this. And you're gonna feel it stretching all in the back of your foot here and inside your toes right here. It's very good to um, stretch the ligaments and bones in your feet. And I think I stand corrected. Uh, one time before I said there's 56 bones in your foot. I believe now, I, I researched it, I think it's 26 bones in your feet, but that's still a lot and we need to stretch them. Also for the plantar fasciitis. Okay, relax for a second. This one's a little tougher. I'm on a decline, incline with a bunch of wood chips on here, so makes it a little harder. All right, one more time. Toes in and forward. And you should feel this in your toes right here and in the back of your foot right here. There's a lot of ligaments and muscles and joints and all sorts of things in your feet. It's very important to stretch them. All right? Right in there. This is really tough because I'm about to fall over. Uh, okay. The next one is the hip bottom stretch. And again, I think I'm going to do it sideways so I don't fall down the hill. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it like this. So what you do is you keep your... Ah, I'll do it anyways like this and bring your foot over <laughs> okay see this is it um, there's times where you're going to struggle on the floor too because maybe you're not so flexible or whatever it's okay find your place of comfort and then do your exercises no big deal all right so put it over like this we're going to grab our knee or uh, put your hands on your knees and pull your knee towards your chest. And you're gonna feel it all in your buttocks area, your hip, and the back of your thigh. 
and then just pull it straight like that. That foot, try to pull it up like that, the toe, so that uh, you'll stretch it in this hamstring right here. Okay, now the other one. Cross it over and pull this knee towards your chest. Keep your back straight. Point that finger, toe finger up and you'll feel it in here. And you're going to feel it back in here. Okay, one more time, cross the leg over, and stretch. Don't forget to breathe in nice and deep, and then exhale nice and even. In and out, nice even breaths. Okay, and one more time, breathe in and stretch. All right, we're going to do that one more time. Real quick, we'll just pull that knee up to our chest, keep it back, toe up, and stretch. These are some great leg stretches. Baby elephant ear. And one more time over. And stretch. Okay. I'm going to come around this way. Now we are going to do the leg hug stretch. So what we'll do is we'll just put our arms underneath our knees like this. This is going to stretch your vertebrae in the back and your upper shoulders. And we're going to just bring your arms under and bring your chest towards your knees and your head towards your knees like this. Again, feel the stretch, not the pain. If this is as far as you can go, that's far. Do not feel any pain in those vertebrae. But you're stretching those back vertebrae right now. Just breathe nice and easy. Up in the air. And then we'll bring it back down one more time. And give yourself a hug. Oh, this feels really good. Okay. And relax. I don't know what that noise is. It almost sounds like the mosquito guy spraying this morning. That might be what he's doing. And relax. Stretch those vertebrae. Okay, relax. One more time. We're going to do that one more time. I really like that one. Just go give yourself a hug underneath your legs and stretch. Breathe in and breathe out nice and easy. Okay, and relax. Yeah, they spray the whole island for mosquitoes. As you can tell, we're in a swamp. So uh, if you don't spray for mosquitoes, this whole place, they would literally pick you up and fly you away. Uh, so I got a feeling that's what it was. They usually do it really early in the mornings. All right, it's time to head back up. 
And this is where I always like to talk about um, my goals of stretching with you for the next 20, 30, 40 years. So if you like what I'm doing, please help me spread the word. You can share, you can share all my videos by going to Miyochi.com. Okay? Or you can go to my YouTube homepage by clicking on the Miyochi icon in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You'll see this Miyochi icon right underneath the screen. And you can click on that, you'll go right to my homepage and see all my videos. Uh, if you're a frequent viewer, then hit the red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And when you hit that button, um, you'll be notified when my latest videos are posted, which is every other Saturday at 6 a.m. And finally, I would love to hear your comments, questions, and any feedback. So feel free to write them in the comments section below, right down here. All right? So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up like button. Thank you. Now let's get back to our exercises. And uh, the next one's going to be the thigh stretch. And go ahead and get your chair for this one. And what we're going to do is use your chair for balance. If you have good balance, you can do it without it. And we're just going to use our chair for balance. Grab your ankle, put your heel to your butt, and then stick your knee straight down. Point your knee straight down like that. And you're going to feel it inside your upper thigh here. This is a great thigh stretch. And stand straight up, point that knee down. And when you point that knee down, you will feel it in your thigh stretching. If you're too far out, you won't feel it. You've got to go all the way down like that. And again, we're stretching the ligaments and the joints in your knee as well. So this is a good range of movement for that. Okay, all right, and down, and now we'll grab the other one, which is tough for me. All right, use your chair for balance, just like I'm doing. There we go, and stretch. Point that knee down. Ooh, I can feel that one. I can feel that stretching in there. And relax. Yeah, let's do it like that. One more time, grab the, your ankle, bring your heel to your butt, and point that straight down. Keep your back straight. Oh, that feels good. Oh, that feels good. Really stretch it. All right, and down. One more time, the other, and stretch. Well, I'm hoping you're liking my jungle exercises. It's a little challenging for me, but that's okay. We all have to make do in the coronavirus time, don't we? Make the best of it. Enjoy your surroundings. That's what I'm doing, and I'm hoping you're enjoying these surroundings. All right, one more time. We'll do it real fast. Stretch it down. And one more time. And like, just like that. Oh, that feels good. All right. Okay. The next one is going to be the pedal to the metal stretch. I'm going to go back a little bit further so you can see my feet. We'll do it like this. And the pedal to the metal stretch is going to stretch your um, outer thighs or your outer shins and then your calf muscles. And just like in a car. Okay, just like in a car, pedal to the metal. Woo! Okay, pedal to the metal. Just push your feet all the way down like that. Okay, and now relax and bring them up. Bring them up like that. Now you're feeling it in the back of your calf.
Okay, and then down. Okay, back up. Thanks for being patient with me. This one's a little tricky on this little steep incline. And then back down, pedal to the metal. And one more time, back up. Huh, not much of a sunrise today. The fog kind of rolled in. Okay, and down. That bird just flew by, and we're done. Okay, and now we're going to do the hand shoulder roll. And the hand shoulder roll. Come on. The hand shoulder roll, put your hands here, and then roll them forward. All right, now your fingers go back out like this. Point your fingers out, and you're going to feel it in the back of your shoulders. And now we're going to bring it out like this. Point your fingers towards your neck, and now you'll feel it up here in your upper chest, and range of movement in your shoulders, and muscles in your shoulders. And forward. Now your finger's pointing back. And one more time. Fingers towards your neck. Put your elbows out as far as you can. And one more time this way. Fingers pointing out. And one more time. Fingers towards your neck. All right. Well, I hope you like my stretching in the jungle. Uh, it's one of my favorite places, and we stretched everything from ankles to toes to knees, thighs, uh, calves, your torso, um, spines, neck, hands, fingers. We stretched it all. So we did a little stretching in the jungle, and I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, maybe it helps your day if you're cooped up inside. Uh, because you can't go outside. So maybe this will brighten your day a little bit. That's what I'm hoping. All right? With the coronavirus affecting all of us in the world, all 7 billion of us on this planet, uh, I know that we're all uh, being personally affected and we know family members and friends and so on and so forth. Um, I know that we're all in these tight, confined spaces and uh, we can start thinking very negatively and uh, things will start getting us down. And I just wanted to talk about how I uh, can stay positive through this whole thing. And it works really well for me, so I figured I'd, I'd talk about it with you a little bit. And uh, first off is as plain and simple as focusing on the positives instead of the negatives. And I know you're hearing that a lot, but it's true. Focus on the positives. Dwell on the positives. Don't dwell on the negatives. And then because we're in these confined spaces, I like to say focusing on the micro positives, okay? Concentrate on the micro wonders that are around you. Even if you're in your house or you have just a small little porch in your backyard or whatever, I want you to focus on the micro wonders, the very small wonders. You know, the dew that is on this leaf right here is beautiful. And you can focus on little micro wonders like that, okay? So create this micro world or this micro universe around you. And how you have to do that is you have to free your mind and your imagination and concentrate on the small things. Because we're in these confined spaces, make your small worlds large, okay? So 
focus on those micro wonders, all right? And um, what I've also learned is as I'm out and about that I've become hyper aware of my surroundings. And uh, what I mean by that is just by sitting here right now, I'm surrounded by this beautiful jungle and these leaves and I'm in this Florida swamp and I just feel enveloped by nature. It's just like it's giving me this one big giant hug. hug. And uh, that's what I'm talking about, being hyper aware of your surroundings. The birds that are chirping in the background, I hear them and they sound more alive to me now than they ever were. So reassess, this is a time of reassessment. Reassess yourself, slow down and listen to everything that's going around you. Observe everything that's going around you because you can slow down your pace. Before this whole coronavirus thing happened, we were moving at such a fast pace, go, 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 as fast as we can, that we forgot about our surroundings. We forgot about all the wonders that are just right here, you know, these beautiful leaves and the dew on this plant. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say. So take this opportunity to slow down, open your eyes, observe your world around you. And I'm going to give you a few examples. Um, a few days ago, I was talking to a friend, you know, practicing social distancing outside. And we were just talking, having a normal conversation like anything like we've had before. But the wind was blowing out of the northeast about 15, 20 knots. And there were these palm trees all around us. And they were really tall palm trees. And up on the top, the wind was hitting the palm trees and making the palm fronds move with each other. And it was just making this beautiful noise of the palm tree leaves, the fronds, going back and forth. And it was just making this peaceful noise with the wind. And I'm just talking to this person and I can hear that in the background. And it was so soothing. And it actually lifted my spirit, made me more relaxed. And I just felt alive out in the open, just listening to trees swaying in the breeze. So it's as simple as that, okay? Another example I have is what I, um, I'm calling my, my cat has a pet. And uh, this pet has been around now for about a month. It's right now. She has a pet spider. And uh, about a month ago, I noticed my cat looking, she was getting some water and she started looking like this going. And it turns out there's just this teeny itsy bitsy spider right next to her water ball uh, in the crook of uh, where the wall is. And I go to my daughter, I go, look, our cat has a pet and I got a pet spider. And that little spider's just been hanging out there. That spider has been hanging out there for a month. I didn't even know spiders could live that long. But what it is, is now this little micro wonder of the spider. Every day I look at the spider and I smile, you know, and I look at everything it's caught and it moves around from one section to another and so on and so forth. And uh, it's become part of the family. And it's just a teeny little spider in the corner of my, um, of my, of my uh, kitchen. That's a micro wonder, isn't it? That's a own universe, his own little universe or that hers own little universe of that spider just hanging out there. And it's been there a month now and it has become a member of our family. So those are the micro wonders I'm talking about. Another one was I was just sitting with the windows open. It was a nice uh, cool, uh, evening and right at evening uh, the geckos are nocturnal little lizards that catch all sorts of bugs and everything and it was just a peaceful evening and uh, the gecko started barking yes geckos bark and our geckos they're probably about like this big or so some of them get about this big and they're translucent their skin you can see through their skin you can actually see the females eggs inside their bodies and you can see some of their blood vessels in their guts are the coolest thing ever. Uh, and they come out at night all around my house, um, but they bark. And, uh, but they're, that's just a very tiny bark. So it has to be really quiet. And you'll just hear this like that. And uh, again, you had to have been there and been aware of your surroundings to hear this gecko barking. And um, again, I'm here to my daughter, come here, come here, come here. And we sat there and we just listened to this gecko barking outside. And it was just wonderful. Again, we're cooped up, but it doesn't matter. We've 
learn to broaden our micro universe, all right? And uh, then another day, again, just concentrating, being hyper aware of your, your um, surroundings, I was land paddling with a friend of mine, and we can't go to the beach uh, because they closed the beaches down here in Florida. Um, so uh, I'm a surfer, and you know, it absolutely kills me not to go surfing. So could I focus on the negatives on that? Absolutely, because believe me, I do not like my surfboard being taken away from me. Uh, it brings back memories of when I was a kid, when I got in trouble, you know what my mother would do for restriction? She wouldn't take the car away. She wouldn't say I couldn't go out at night. She would literally take my surfboard away from me. And you want to see a teenager cry his eyes out? Have your mom take your surfboard away. So uh, here I am land paddling and we get to the beach and we can't go to the beach and there's some beautiful waves coming in and we're just sitting there conversing again. Uh, just two of us, six feet apart, social distancing. Um, and the sun's coming up because we did a little Dawn Patrol land paddle. And, you know, you never realize what you have until they take it away from you. You know, so they took this surfing away from me. Uh, and I'm sitting there watching the sunrise. And I'm watching the waves roll in. And I'm pretending like I'm being out there. And the feeling of the hyper awareness of my whole surroundings, the salt air I could smell and the ocean sounds was so relaxing and it was so gorgeous and beautiful. And that's what I'm talking about, okay? So find your micro universe out there, okay? Focus on the micro positives. Don't let those walls squeeze you in. Okay, beat it and expand your universe, your micro universe. And uh, I think you will feel better in these tough times that we have going on right now. So as usual, I usually go out and do some sort of exercise, but um, I'm kind of stuck in the swamp right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a little bit different treat. I'm going to give you a tour of the swamp. So I'm gonna do a little hiking and doing a little tour of the swamp. So. I see you.